Happy Saturday, collective. This your girl, Mystic Sunflower. I'm back to give you guys a random energy reading. Let's see what spirit has for us, guys. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it so much. If you guys are looking for any Divine Feminine collections, I will leave my website in the description box. You guys can check that out. I'm so appreciative and so grateful for every last one of you guys. I am so grateful. Thank you guys so much. So much. Let's jump into this. I don't want to hold you guys up because I could be going on and on how grateful I am. Thank you guys. Let's start off with the Moonology. Let's see what spirit has for us. Holy Spirit, Divine, Archangel Michael, guiding me to the highest white light where I channel the energies for my beautiful collective. Thank you. My ancestors of the highest white light. Please give me some clear oil messages from my beautiful collective. Let's get right into it. I hope everyone is joining me Saturday, collective. It's beautiful today. It's beautiful. I got out earlier. I've been going out more than usual. And the sun, as you can see, the sun been tearing me up. The sun been tearing me up. I be trying to beat the sun, but I guess the sun is beating my behind. <laughs> collective. What do we have for my collective? Your dreams need a practical plan for Moon and Taurus. So guys, your dreams need a practical plan. Okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. A time for healing. So there's a time for healing right now. Adjustments are required. So you guys are needing to make adjustments. Balance spirituality and practicality. So what I get with that where your dreams need a practical plan. You guys need to plan your dreams and strategize them more. Because spirit is saying your dreams need a practical plan. It's one thing to dream about something and, and say, well, you know, I want this, I want that. But you're not putting no work to do it. Spirit is like, all right, well, you know, you want this. I can give you this. But what are you doing to get this? You got to be more practical about it. And a lot of that takes footwork. Because spirit is, spirit hear, you, hear your prayers. They want them to give you whatever you want. But what are you doing to get to that? A time for healing. So healing is needing to be done. Adjustments are required. So what are some things that you need to adjust from to get to these dreams? Balance spirituality and practicality. You need balance with both. Both are required. Between spirituality and practicality. You guys are needing to find balance with them both. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Divine. Thank you, my ancestors of the highest white light. Trying to get some more messages from my beautiful collector. Some more messages. Okay. We're only going to take the ones that came out. Perseverance. I know what I can. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. And with that, I get your dreams need a practical plan. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to do. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes, you can. Spirit is willing to give you whatever you want. But you need a more practical plan. Spirit is saying, yes, you want that? i give you that. But what are you going to do to go get that? Collective, accept it. I am learning to accept the things I cannot change. And that's where I get a time for healing. A time for healing is learning to accept the things that you cannot change. Whatever already happened has happened, Collective. We can't do nothing about it. But what we can do is move forward. That's what we can do, right, Collective? Because whatever's in the past is the past. You can't see. 
all these cards popping out like this. I know y'all all over the place, collector. It's okay. Let's get something that we got you. I got you. But again, perseverance. Your dreams need a practical plan. I know I can do whatever I set my mind to do. Yes, you can. But spirit is asking, what are you doing? What are you doing in your current moment right now to get to those dreams? Acceptance. I am learning to accept the things I cannot change. A time for healing. Heal from things that happened in the past. The past already happened. <coughs> Excuse me. None of us could go back to the past. The past already done happened. None of us could go back to the past. Just like none of us could jump into the future. The future is our future. That's only something to look forward to. But right now, right now at this current moment, only thing you should be kind of... My throat shot. See, they don't be wanting me to get this out. Only thing you should be focused on right now is the present moment. Because that's the only thing that matters right now. The present moment. The past already happened. The future is what you can look forward to. But don't put too much focus on, on the future. Focus on the right now. Focus on putting your dreams into work right now. So you can get to where you're going. Don't put, don't put too much on yourself that you can't bear. Don't overwhelm yourself. Heal. Heal, collective. And when I say heal, healing is never, ever really done. Healing is an everyday process. Healing is never completely done. It's moving forward and learning to accept things. And that's why adjustments are required. Balance spirituality and practicality. Anything else, Holy Spirit, for my beautiful collective that they need to know? Anything else, Holy Spirit, for my beautiful collective and what they need to know? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Divine. My ancestors of the highest light light. Anything else that my beautiful collective should? Have you asked, have you asked your angels for help with this? Your angels want to help you with this situation. However, they require your permission before they can intervene in your free will choices. What did I just say, collective? What did I just say? Have you asked your angels? Don't overwhelm yourself, yourself with things that happened in the past. What happened, happened. Don't overwhelm yourself with the future because the future is what's, whatever you're doing now is what's leading you to the future. Don't worry about the past. Don't worry about the future. Only thing you should be worried and focused on right now is the present moment. Your angels are always around you to help you. They say, I, I, I want to help you, but if you don't call on me, I can't just intervene because you. everybody has free will. They telling you everybody has Everybody has free will. The angel just not going to just come in, come in, bum rush you and say, listen here, I heard you need my help. So let me come in and help. No, you call on your angels and that's how they help you. They are always there. Synchronicities is, 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 is the way of letting you know that they right there. Pay attention to that as well. But call on your angels. Are you feeling overwhelmed or you feeling like something is too much to bear? Call on your angels. They right there. They will help you. They will lead you. They will guide you. All right, collector. Mystic Southflower got you. I'm here. Let's get a little tarot before we close this up. I don't want to make this too long. I just want to give you some messages that Holy Spirit just want you to just pay attention to right now. Damn. And I see the high friend is see the high friend, and we got the ace of cups. Spirit is right here with you, collective. They just want you to balance things out. Call on them; they'll help you. Don't put too much on yourself. You don't have to do that. You got angels. You got angels. You got spirit guides that's helping you. All you gotta do is put in the footwork. Behind the scenes, the, the hard work, they do that. Just call on them and, then, and they will do that for you. I promise you. And I'm only speaking from experience. I would never get on my channel and say anything to you guys that I haven't gone through from experience. The high friend. This is somebody that's traditional, that's spiritual. 
call on them. They said yes. They answered all your calls. Let's just get a little bit of tarot. Ten of Wands. If you feel like you're going through a heavy burden right now, collective, put it down. You can put it down. You don't have to worry about it. You have spirit guides. You have angels that's willing to help you. You're not in this by yourself. Don't for one second think that you're alone. You might be physically by yourself, but you have spirit guides and angels that's willing to help you behind the scenes. But they can't intervene because you have free will. If you don't call on them, they can't do anything for you. Get out this energy right here, collective. I don't like this. What's that? I don't like that. I wish I could get, I can't give you a cyber hug. Big cyber hug. Mm -mm. Get out that energy. You got angels that's willing to help you behind the scene, collective. Yes. Build up the strength. Build up the strength to put in the footwork. And let your, your, your,